James chapter 4, verse 14. Do you want to read it or do you want me to read it? Okay. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow, for what is your life? Is it even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away? But it's true, isn't it? That's right. It's like steam or something or even like a cloud in the sky. One moment it's there, the next moment it's gone. You know, like in winter when you breathe and you can see your breath, one second is there and one, and then the next second is gone, amen? Well, it's like you can see somebody today and, you know, that, that might be the very last time you see that person. Yeah, absolutely. You just can't take it for granted that you're not going to see that, you know, you think, oh, I'll see that person again. Yeah. You may never get that opportunity again, you know, which is very, very sad. And that's why the God says keep his hearts as right as we can do. You know, before him, keep short accounts. Is it worth carrying all that excess baggage on your back and that hatred and that anger and that, oh, so ugly, you know, let the peace be upon you. Yeah. The Lord tells us this. So do you know where you will spend eternity after you die? I'll repeat the question. Do you know where you'll spend eternity after your physical body dies? Consider your latter end. For a moment, just consider that for a moment. Where will you spend your eternity? Exactly. Where will you spend your eternity when you die? Now we're all going to die. Nobody wants to think about that. But one day, I'm going to be dead. Heaven's going to be dead. You're all going to be dead, it's right? Guaranteed, isn't it? It's guaranteed. And so, where will you, or where do you want to spend your eternity when you die, right? got a choice at the moment haven't you yeah but nobody knows like it said in the bible your life is but a vapor yeah you know and it says doesn't the road's wide to hell but those stairways to heaven yeah and so where do you want to spend eternity and did you know that you have two free will choices where you spend that's right an eternity spent in hell separated from your loved ones and separated from god more that's more important or eternity spent in heaven it's going to be saved loved ones and with god so can you just repeat that so you have two free will choices right what are they what's choice number one eternity spent in hell which is horrible yeah separated from your loved ones and from god to spend you know total darkness away from god or you can take the right way eternity spent in heaven you know spent with these saved loved ones and, and with god how awesome is that god's face upon you yeah that is so awful. walking with god That's so right. what do you want to do think about that question very you know carefully what, I want to do, what my choice is yeah to absolutely Jesus all the way. and the best bit of wisdom i can offer you right now is listen to this listen very carefully pay attention the best bit of godly wisdom and human wisdom i can give you right now is have you got your ears finally tuned don't be caught dead without jesus that's right so you know you don't want to be found dead without jesus right. amen. amen hallelujah you probably never heard that saying before don't be caught dead without jesus right. because if you are like Hendon said you were spending an eternity in hell separated from all your loved ones who were saved right. and separated from god almighty right. the creator of the heavens and the earth or you can make a, a wise choice where you've still got breath in your body yeah. that's to make jesus christ your lord and savior and spend eternity with him and your saved loved ones isn't that wonderful